Hi, everybody, alongside Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to EA Sports. Well, no pressure, but win or go home here, Ray. Yeah, you got to get the job done. You're in a bad spot. You trailed the series, and you've got to get one on the board. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Denied by the goaltender. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. And he makes the save. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. The checkers will play it in their own end. Receives the pass. Sends a pass over. Gets in front of it. Takes the pass from his goaltender. And he moves it up to Panic. Hammers the shot. Oh, what a stop. Slides it back to the blue line. And another stop. Gibbons moves it ahead. Oh, and he wants to get that one back as the stick breaks on the play. Charlotte's ready to go on the attack. Field got the puck along the wall. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Right in front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Carries it across the line. The Thunderbirds have it against the wall. Springfield's got a hold of the puck. Turns the puck over, great read defensively there. Takes it in front. The Thunderbirds have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Blocker save. The checkers scoop it up along the boards. Knocked away. Forsberg's gonna opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Control of the faceoff by the offensive team allows them to snap it into position for the shot. The goalie's not set, and he gets beat on it. Springfield's hard work in this opening period pays off. Uh, great with the anthem finish. These guys were on it. They've done a really terrific job and are well rewarded for that first goal. Sent into the offensive zone. The Thunderbirds will play the puck from behind the net. Here they come on the attack. Charlotte's looking to break out of their own end. Great positioning in the defensive end. The Checkers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Move to the middle, and that one's broken up. Charlotte's got the puck. Takes the feed. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We got a 1 0 game to this point. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Here's an on man rush. Shot from the wall. What a stop as he puts out the fire. Works gaining momentum. Springfield's got the puck here in the open ice. One timer off the skate and scores. You, you can have it bounce off the skate, James, but look at that. They've waved this off. This looks like a kicking motion is ruled by the referee.
The official has to make a call on the ice immediately. He waved off this goal, but after talking to the war room, they look at it under several different looks. He comes back and he says, no, this is a good goal. The Thunderbirds have had multiple scoring opportunities here in this first and could easily have a much bigger lead. That's a slash on that play. The referee's all over it. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Shepard's going to play it against the half wall. Shuts him down. Let's get the official decision. Slashing the call here on this one. Now he got his two minutes worth there, James, as he's fishing away, and all of a sudden he takes the stick back and whacks him pretty good. The checkers get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. This is why you have meetings in the morning. You look at video of the penalty killers. You try to establish what their tendencies are going to be. Push the penalty killers into some place they're not comfortable. Carries it in. Here's the pass. And he totally whiffs on that one. Forsberg's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Well past the midway mark of this period, Springfield's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Quick shot. Oh, he stumped that one. That was a fireball. Moves the puck. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Thunderbirds have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Quick feed to Forsling. Special teams come along huge on that goal. They take advantage of having the extra man by moving the puck quick, and that's a beautiful goal. is a bullet. He takes the pass, times it well, and hammers it home. Charlotte's cut that lead to one as they get back to center ice. They must look at this game completely different, James. They should, because now with just half of this first period left, there's lots of time. You only trail by one. Springfield's got the puck along the boards. And there's the whistle. Icing is the call, which I gotta say is like almost the equivalent of a tie. Who likes icing? It might be the most boring play in hockey, but get an offensive zone face off. Hey, there's a victory. The Thunderbirds have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. Big time stop there. He's working hard to find this puck. There's all kinds of traffic in front of him, and he gets to it before the puck gets to him. And that will stop. McCormick's picking up steam. There's a shot denied by the goaltender. Springfield's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a chance right in the slot. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Here they are on the attack. Oh, what a save in front. Sends the pass over. Flash from the blue line. And a great save. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Big time save and a big time shot. In the final moments of this period, it's a 2-1 hockey game. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Denies him on the play, and the puck's booted away. Offside the call, and we'll have a face off just outside the blue line. The Thunderbirds have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. With possession along the wall. Here's a rip with the stop. Springfield gained possession along the boards. Handles the puck. The 
Thunderbirds have it behind the net. Sends it across the ice. Here's a chance right in front and misses on the tip. Oh man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. Comes up with a stop. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Springfield's got the lead here late in this first period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Steps in front of it for the block. Forsling's got the puck in his own zone. A little back and forth. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. And he comes up with it. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Centering pass! And that's broken up. Handles it along the blue line. From the slot, fires away. Comes up with a stop. Great defensive play to break it up. Big save just as time runs out. Well, there's the horn. Concluding the first 20 minutes, time to get a clean sheet of ice. Well, both goaltenders leak a little bit here. We've got a 2-1 game, and I can expect more of the same here if the first period was any indication. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. Back at center ice, and we are ready to get period number two underway. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Forsberg's about the only player that came ready to play in that first period. If he wasn't so good, this game would look a lot different. Picks up the puck in his own end. Takes it across the blue line. Makes a save, cool and calm under pressure. Well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one, but the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. Lots of time left in this period. It's a 2-1 game. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Fires it! Oh, gets a glove on it to make the stop! The Thunderbirds have looked good offensively tonight, generating all sorts of opportunities. Martell's won the draw. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. The Checkers gain possession along the wall. Charlotte's got the puck at the defensive end. Moves it to Gibbons. Over the line they come. Hammers a shot, denies him in front. Right in front, great reflexes, another save. Again, what a stop. Johnson's athleticism serves him well there. Excellent stop. And he came up big on that last opportunity. And now it's grabbed by Martel. The checkers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Really solid shift here. Their puck possession game has been outstanding. Now they've got, whoa, look at that. Here we go, we got a penalty coming up right here. Penalty coming up here as the play is stopped. He's gonna go to the box for that stick work, Ray. Yeah, that's my favorite penalty, James. If somebody's banging you, yeah, that's the one right there. But don't hit him in the pants. It just sounds like you're banging a drum. Find a spot with no pass. So make it count. Yes. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And makes the save. Unloads from the blue line. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Denied him on that last chance. Manages to hang on. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Puts it on that big time stop with the glove. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's 2-1. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And there's the save. Charlotte's got a hold of it against the wall. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Springfield's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. 
David's got it across the line. And that misses. And he elects to play the puck. Moves around along the half wall. Takes the pass. Wrist shot from the slot. Nothing doing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Here's a shot. And that one's broken up. Great block there. The Thunderbirds will play it from the defensive zone. Springfield's got the puck along the wall. Sends it over. Bishop's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Cross takes it along the wing. The checkers gain control of the puck against the wall. The Thunderbirds will kill off a few extra seconds now. Charlotte's got control of it now from their own end. Gibbons moves it into the attacking end. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Off the crossbar! Charlotte's still gonna have to grind away here. They trail, and they're looking for something to go their way. That didn't help. Bishop's been called for holding. Well, he got his money's worth there. That is a holding penalty. Puck set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. Even a little different, even if there's just one player missing on each team. Defensive responsibilities are different. There's different attack angles. Got to communicate here on the four on four. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that one's broken up. Carries it across the line. And as the penalty expires, they'll go to work now with a man advantage. And manages to clear the zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Picked up along the wall by Borkstrom. And that one's blocked. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Oh, what a stop. You know when you're looking for a buddy in a crowded train station? Well, now you got to find a little puck through the bodies there. Good luck to you. Found it. Springfield's done a nice job of generating pucks on net, and as a result, they lead here in the second. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. Here they come on the attack. On the doorstep, snaps one from the slot with the stop. Stays with it. Whiffs on that. The checkers have it behind the cage and manages to clear the zone. Shuts him down. Taken by Hunt. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Thompson's carrying it ahead. Passes right to the front. An easy save by Forsberg. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And that one's turned away. And manages to clear the zone. Dumped into the opposite corner. Through center along the wing. Right on the doorstep. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. The Thunderbirds have it now. Shot. He scores! Wow! Coast to coast! Snakes his way through the entire team. Head up, looks at his options, decides he's the best option finishes it off. It doesn't happen very often on the power play, but they get out on an odd man rush, move the puck around well, and score on a rush. Field's now gone ahead by two here tonight, and you know what? They've been the better team, right? I don't think that's up for much debate at all. They've had the majority of shots, the majority of possession, and a comfortable two-goal lead. Lexi Sorrell. Carries it in. The Thunderbirds have a hold of it in the defensive zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it across. Takes control of the puck. Puck grabbed by Bork. Tackle on the boards. 
Sporks got it deep in the offensive end. Winds up, lets it go. Big time stop there. Save is good. Better yet, if that rebound doesn't stay in front of the net, it's over the safety in the corner. Stones him in front. Again, the denial by the goaltender. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. He's going off for tripping, Ray. Reaching in for the puck, and he gets his stick caught in their feet. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Once you get a power play goal early in a game, you start to feel pretty good about yourself. Now you get another opportunity. You feel like you're going to score for sure. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Charlotte's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to Gibbons. And a great save. Passes ahead from the right side. Springfield's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Nice pass. Too much traffic in the lane. Stopped by the goaltender. The Thunderbirds move the puck in the defensive zone. Rips it on net and makes the save. Springfield's got the puck along the boards. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Shot in front. Misses wide. He's going to have to fix the sights on that stick. He missed the net by a mile. It's like another area code. Past the halfway mark of this period. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Gives it right back. The Thunderbirds will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And he gets the puck right back. Puck lands right back onto the blade. He scores! A short-handed marker! I don't think the penalty killers ever really look for a shorty, but if the opportunity's there, now they're more aggressive than they've ever been. He doesn't need too many chances to score. That's one of the reasons he leads his team in goals. He's got a great finish when he gets the opportunity. Springfield's been dominant tonight as they make their way back to center. They have scored almost at will, in particular here in this second period. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Crane heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's an opportunity. Makes the save. That's a solid hit. Takes it across the blue line. Denies him on the play. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Ooh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a great train that went right over top of it. The Thunderbirds lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Both teams back to even strength and after giving up a short-handed goal, it's an opportunity the power play unit would probably sooner forget. And I certainly didn't like much about that power play. The short-handed goal, of course, is the exclamation point. Over the line they come. Springfield's got the puck behind the net. The checkers have it in the offensive end. Point to point pass. Shot denied by the goaltender. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And that goes off a player in front. Thompson's got control of the puck in the corner. Can't maintain possession. The Thunderbirds have it against the wall. Carries it across the line. Huge steal in his own end. Springfield.
field, skiing possession along the boards. Just a great defensive read there. Lorenz has the puck against the half wall. Takes the feed. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Late goings of this period, and we've got a 4-1 hockey game. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. That's blocked. Vanek's got it in the defensive end. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Unleashes a rocket, and he comes up with a big time save on that. The Thunderbirds have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages of this second period as they continue to lead big. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Grabs the puck. Here's a blast from the boards. Oh, some fans thought that was in, but that went off the side of the net. And that'll do it for period number two. 4-1 is where we stand after 40 minutes of play with the third period still ahead. Register now for our Shoot to Win contest where one lucky fan will shoot a puck from center ice to try and win an exciting prize. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Here we go, third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Charlotte's game plan really can't change or shouldn't change too much. They've owned time of possession. They've had the puck a lot. They just haven't been able to catch the game. And he makes the save. Here they come on the attack. Gets the puck in deep. Springfield's got a hold of it against the wall. The Thunderbirds take possession in the defensive end. And now he angles it across to Bornstrom. Oh, what a stop! Across the point. Steps in with the block. Along the half wall with the puck. Move to the middle! Shoots it! And the puck is in, but it's being waved off immediately here. Now, yeah, I like when all goals count, but I, I think this has to be waved off. This is goalie interference. It's hard enough to score, now you lose one. That's goalie interference. It, it, I think it's pretty clear, James. Yeah, let's take one more look and see what the officials didn't like here. No time to think about that non-goal calls. We are ready to resume here. Face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway. Through the neutral zone, it goes to the middle. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's picked off in front. Quick pass across to Thompson. Knocked away. Charlotte's got the puck along the wall. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Springfield's been a dominant force offensively. Plenty of quality scoring opportunities and they lead it big time early in the third. Scoops up the puck now. The checkers gain control of it. With possession along the wall. Here's a blast. That's a mistake. Gets the puck back here in the neutral zone. Right in the open ice. That one's picked off. Picks off the pass. From the point, looks to make something happen. That was a great shot, but an even better save. The Thunderbirds continue to lead big here in this third period. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Carries it in. Here's a chance. Shuts him down. Whistle blown as that's redirected into the crowd. Springfield's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. The Thunderbirds have it in the offensive zone. Here's a blast. Comes up with the glove save. That's a good save. He had to struggle to find the puck to force the bodies in front of him. 
Greenfield has got control of it now from their own end. Hammers a shot, makes the save on the slapper. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Receives the pass. Great stick work with the steal. The Thunderbirds gain possession in their own end. Fires it on net. Stops him cold. Springfield showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Shepard swooping in on the attack. Moves the puck behind the net. Sends a pass over. Gets in front of it. Ah, it's a good save there, James. It looks rather simple, but he gets the puck into the corner. No danger. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Charlotte's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves it quickly over to Bork. Bork's got it along the wing. And the gloves are off, ready to respond with a different kind of hit. Lorenz isn't too interested in this challenge. He just turns away. Hobbling his way over to the bench after being banged up on this last shift. He's going to need some help from the training staff. Shepard's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. The Thunderbirds offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Borkstrom's won the draw here in the offensive Whoa. zone. That's three consecutive goals. Now the goalie keeps looking over to the coach saying, why am I still in here? Three straight for them. You don't get many goals like this. Face-off win, direct shot, and into the net. Springfield's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but, Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys out here are having fun. The other half, this game can't end quick enough. He uses the boards with the bank pass. The Thunderbirds scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Borgstrom. The Checkers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Takes a shot, stopped by the goaltender. Springfield's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. The Thunderbirds get a hold of the puck along the boards. Backhander turns it away. Thompson's used all of his weight to lay this hit along the boards. Really solid contact. Springfield slaying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Got a hold of it along the wall. Up along the wing. Quick feed to Gibbons. Here's the chance. Off a stick. Cross plays it along the wall. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. The Thunderbirds are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. Martell's one possession. Here's a chance right out in front. Big save. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. He scores! Where was this earlier? Well, this is about 45 minutes late here. The Zeta has been confident tonight. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. The Checkers have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scores out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Nice bank pass off the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Referee singling the late penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. I know he doesn't like the call on this one. Nobody does, but I think he has a case here, Ray.
right? Well, it looked like the penalty was going to be called, and then it got sold even more so. So that's a hooking call that he doesn't really like. The power play unit goes right back to work. Well, they've earned another power play, James. Of course, that starts with an offensive zone face on it. They've had success earlier in the game. They'll want to double up on that now if they can. Gets it out of his own end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Oh, aggressive move as he pokes it away. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. To his teammate. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Forsberg's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Springfield's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and laid it big time late in this third period. Hammer is in on net. Here's the chance to set up now. And that one stopped. Perhaps he might have a step here. He's clear. Oh, what a save. Picking up some steam at center ice. Moves it to Hunt. Let's it go from the slot. Oh, a clutch save. And that one's broken up. And manages to clear the zone. The Thunderbirds gain possession along the wall. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. Bishop's got it in the offensive end. Bishop's got it along the boards. Big time defensive play. That's going to be delivered a little quicker. Nice play by the defensive team. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Gets it out of his own end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Quick pass to Martel. Unloads the shot. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well for the extra man here. usually more conservative killing penalties than this. They make a mistake, now they give up the man advantage break. The power play doesn't miss on the rush. Springfield's all too aware there's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. It may be time to lay back just a bit. The Thunderbirds have it from their own end. Charlotte's got possession here in the offensive zone. Springfield's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Puck is dropped and play resumes. David's got it into offensive territory. And that goes off the iron and stays out. And he heads outside the comfort zone now to go play the puck in his own end. And not much on that one. The Thunderbirds have it against the wall. Referee's got his hand up, signaling a delayed penalty. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Let's see what the officials are calling. Gibbons is getting two minutes for holding. He's going to see this on the big board once he sits down. He'll see this as a penalty. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. And manages to clear the zone. Here it is. Point shot. Misses. That'll do it. And man. champions they pull it off Ray this was not an easy road for them they had to fight their way through a series grind their way through the playoff but it ends in a championship and they are going to be very proud of their efforts Ray I love the tradition but it's got to be hard when you come up short you feel really low because you've given everything you have and you shake hands with somebody that's just beaten you and that'll do it for Ray Perot. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.